As you guys maybe know, I play a lot of MMORPGs in my channel. That's because back in the day, I hated them and I'm trying to load them now. But when you settle on a journey to find some MMORPGs, you usually get greeted by games that wants you to grind your life away. Just like a chef who's trying to get the Michelin star, just to get disappointed and say, WHERE'S THE LAND SAUCE?! And in today's beginner's review, I will be talking about one of those type of games. Hi, I'm Nado, and welcome to the beginner's review of... Maple Story. Okay, when we first get into the game, it wants us to pick a region. After picking the region, we actually get greeted by a screen that makes you feel like you lost your mom in a mall. Like, just look at this screen. Can someone explain what the hell is happening here? Where am I? W who are these people? Anyways, after that, you finally find her. By the way, finding this little freaking buttons took me half an hour yes starting this game just starting to this game took me 30 minutes i'm not even joking being frustrated i finally managed to find the screen where you make your character it was a relief but that relief soon disappeared because let me tell you most of these characters you guys are seeing here are stolen from the other games at least the ideas and how they look are stolen aka the wall character and because the translation is shit in this games stuff like this can happen <laughs> no 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 <laughs> well after doing all of that i decided to go with the cygnus knights by the way, don't get fooled by their good looks, these guys are just bunch of fucking meanies who are here to bully you, technically. After bullying you verbally, they decide to go to another level and they start to bully you physically. After beating the first three training dummies, the guy wants us to use our powers, which I failed to use because the controls in this game is shit, and apparently it doesn't have controller support, even though it claims it does, so I had to use my keyboard and mouse even though I already have a console plugged in. After that, Commander comes in and tells the trainer that they have an urgent job to do, so trainer just tells us to stay there. And then, a bird comes in, and that's the moment you realize this game's wall story was written by a 10 year old. Looks... look, it's a bird. Is it talking to me? Chirp, chirp, chirp. It, it is. Oh my goodness, I can understand birds! <laughs> yeah. That happens. And guess where the bird leads us to? TO THE WAIFU! Ah, I see. So you're a bird of a culture as well. Hmm. Well, the problem is, it turns out she's the ruler of the world. Yes, I'm talking about the world, so she's definitely out of her league. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. After that, we go back to the camp to learn the urgent job they had was to prepare us a special course. The purpose of this course is to go out there, kill some monsters, and collect some badges from them. So we do what we're best at doing, beat the shit out of all the monsters, and give the badges to the trainer. After seeing our performance, Commander comes in and, and tells us that we can finally be a real knight. In order to do that, we have to pick one of these paths you guys are seeing in front of me right now. But because the game is technically trash, just like I said again, you have to pick without reading anything. You have to just click one of them, and game counts you as picked. I normally would have rage quit it, but let me tell you. At least I picked a good one, because red is the best one among them all. At least, he is not a bully, okay? Which makes him cool. Okay, after choosing our path, we finally get our first mission. Which is killing monsters and collecting badges? Wait a minute! Isn't this the same mission that we done in the tutorial? It turns out, it's just a side mission, so... Yeah, it's not that bad. Anyways, after finishing the side mission, we learn our real mission was to go out there and get some information from our spy overseas. So we hop on a flying boat and go to the island. Okay. The problem here is, because game gives you little to no info about the spy, it took me a whole freaking day. Yes, 24 hours to find the spy. It turns out the spy was this dude. Yeah. He was front of our face all along. When we go and talk to him, he gives us info about a guy called Puppeteer. 
And this puppeteer guy apparently is controlling all the monsters around this place, so that's why they're so aggressive. I know you're wondering which exciting journey is awaiting us, right? Are we gonna be catching the guy? Are we gonna be doing something? No! We're gonna be killing more monsters and collecting more items! Yes! It's the same mission! Again! At this point, I was hardly keeping my cool, so you guys can imagine how I felt when I learned the other mission after this mission was the same mission. Well, at least this happened. Horny mushrooms? <sighs> after finishing the same mission for the fourth time, this happened. I wonder what I'm gonna be doing. Of course I'm gonna be killing more animals. What the fuck? <clears throat> this is enough. I'm done. No. I don't want to. I, no I, I don't want to play this game at all. No, I'm deleting it. And that wraps it up. I put a lot of effort in these videos, so if you watch this until here, thank you. If you like my videos and you want more, subscribe. If you didn't like my videos, just put a dislike and put a comment down below about what I can do better. And see you next time. Bye.